Oh, look at- Oh, are you drinking your pee puddle? Bubblegum, stop! Oh, no. What's up guys, it's Megan and today we are back with a brand new video of The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs here on my channel. It's a good day, okay? We're back. It's winter break. I have no more school until next semester and I have my home office all set up. Face cam, ring light, everything. Done. And I am excited to have a really good time with you guys. So if you are excited too, don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and leave a comment of what you're doing this winter break. <laughs> So, it's been a bit since I played this game. I've just transferred all of my files over to the home office here where I am. And it's it's gonna be a good time. We still need to make over the house, which I told you guys I was gonna do off screen, but I didn't know when I would yet. So that is still, you know, like in process, something that we plan on doing. We have Johnny Zess moved in here with us. He's throwing a temper tantrum. He's tense um, from grime time from cleaning. He's getting tense because he did clean which doesn't make any sense to me because you'd think he'd be happy because now the space is clean you know so it's fine i guess um he just needs to eat why are you barking at the toilet um ask to go potty brush fetch give some food to bogum hug pet calling rough house simstagram oh does he need to go potty um oh okay well first we're gonna do simstagram bubblegum who's a girl by the way not a boy so whatever i said him i that's i didn't mean it let's just take some awesome photos of our pet bubblegum. Now, I don't have a really a goal in mind today, but bubblegum has gained 17 followers. <laughs> awesome. And we're gonna put a frame around this because that looks nice. So Johnny, Johnny Zest, let's check out your aspirations. He needs to write jokes and stuff. Oh, it's 2 a.m. We're all sleeping. We're all sleeping, guys. My bad. Um, <laughs> uh, we need to eat whenever uh, Jenny wakes up. This is Jenny, right? Her name is Jenny. Ah, I, I remember. Um, scold for waking up. That is not behavior that we want in the house, Bubblegum. We do not want you barking at the bed. Bubblegum, no barking at humans. Now, let's ask to go potty. No, don't pee in the house. Are you peeing in the house? Oh, no, he just, he just, she just didn't like that I asked her not to bark. See, how do you like it? Now, go potty outside. Why do we have to ask them to go potty? If we just say, go potty, and they know to go outside, why don't they just go outside and go to the potty? Anyway, we have a tiny dog door, but not a big dog door, but the dogs can use... This, which I didn't realize, I don't know, I think that's funny. Because <laughs> they can they can both use they can both use a door, but not a dog door. And like, I, d I don't know what the point of the dog door is in The Sims 4. I guess they just added it for fun. But it doesn't really make sense to me if we don't need it anyway. <laughs> so breakfast time. I wonder if our um our vet clinic is open. It is, it is open. Oh, it's not open. So I think I'm going to go run that today. I think that would be a good idea. Um, we have $400 in profits. We have had six customers and the last time we opened, I think we have 81 reviews and it's not very good. So I think it's time for Jenny to go back to the vet clinic and run it the right way after she eats breakfast, of course. Johnny Zest, he needs to do some stuff for work. Even though he has work in two days, um, he can still practice. So we're going to have him practice the guitar some. Oh, look at- Oh, are you drinking your pee puddle? Bubblegum, stop! Oh, no. And you can't, like, mop that up. You can't clean that up either. Um, let's pick this up, I guess, to throw away a little bit later. Oh, my God. I cannot believe Bubblegum just licked up her own pee. My dogs eat their own vomit all the time. Okay, Peach and Luna? They, they, they eat their vomit. It's weird. It's so weird. Is Dakota begging for food? Lecture out drinking from puddle. Yeah, don't do that. Wait, 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 wait. Let's have Johnny Zest lecture about drinking from puddle. Because I don't want this dog drinking from their pee puddles. That's gross. That's nasty. I'd rather have you drink from the toilet. Because that means that there's, like, unclean water. But at least it's not pee. Um, and then pet. And then you can use the restroom. Johnny Zest, here's the deal. I need you to practice. What is this? Too uncomfortable? Oh, they shared a little kiss. Oh, my gosh. And we have to pee. Everybody has to use the restroom. Go on. These are some really fast. Oh no, okay. And then you need to take a shower. Johnny Zest. Oh my gosh. And of course the toilet breaks right as Johnny Zest has to use it. So he's gonna have to come repair this toilet. And let's hope that he gets it done in time before he pees himself. He acquired the handiness skill, so that's good at least. That's something going on here. Um, I'm wondering if I want to move them to a new house in total and not just not just uh, redo this house. I don't know. I like this house, but I also don't. I think our time and efforts would be better suited for a brand new house. Oh, you guys should vote on that in the comments down below if we want a new house or a regular house, right? Um, what are you doing? What? Chat? No. 
No time to chat. What we're gonna do instead is, oh, what is this, a present? Let's open this. What did we get from our animals? A fire opal, oh my gosh, our dogs are bringing us so much stuff. And then we have this piece of cake for some reason. So many scraps on the table. Let's go to the vet clinic. I'm just gonna pretend that the house is not a mess. Let's go. Here we are at the Wagon Tail Vet Clinic. It is a beautiful day to get started. Before we open up though, I want to make some stuff for the machine. So let's craft, um, craft treats. Just some of these treats here that we can um, sell in the vending machine. We'll do this and I guess we can open up the shop because we do have some employees. I think we have two employees. We do actually. Um, Eva, she is the nicer one and then Supriya, she's the one who doesn't really like working here from what we can tell she doesn't want to do any training She doesn't ever want to participate. So I mean that's fine I guess but we're still gonna work on training them whether they like it or not. Let's see if we can get some advertising done today uh, Patient patients additional vet number two unlock vet supply quality. We already did that. Oh, we already have some of these Vet rush. Yes Let's get some customers in here you guys Let's make some of these really fun treats to sell inside of the vending machine. Hopefully uh, these get them made pretty fast. I don't think that they do actually. I think they take a while to make. Um, all right, so here we go. We have two of our vet techs here. And we also have this man here. Are you guys ready to take these pets? Oh, there's also no costume. There, I'm gonna change this. I need to change these um, outfits because there's no shoes on them. And you guys keep on bringing that to my attention and I keep on forgetting to add shoes. <laughs> So just any shoes will be fine. Um, well, except for those, I don't like those. Um, ooh, these, these are like Toms uh, and very popular, I think, in the veterinarian culture for shoes, if you ask me. Um, we also need to change it on the female because they also need shoes, you know, we're not trying to discriminate against any sort of gender on like what type of shoes they wear. Everybody's gonna wear the same shoes. Um, let's see, wait, where are they? Oh God, if we can find them, I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to spend all day here on this create a screen, that's for sure. Um, do I just give them different shoes? I just kind of went on a spiel about how everyone's gonna wear the same shoes and now all I'm seeing is not the same shoes. This is concerning. Hello? Am I blind? Or do I just not see these shoes? They should be under here somewhere, right? Converse. Uh, okay, I guess I lied. I guess we are having some discrimination and the girls are gonna wear some pink Converse. Um, we don't have any male vet techs anyway, so it's not a big deal that the uniforms don't completely match. One day we can hire guys, but today we are full staff with some employees who already don't wanna work with us. Why do we only have one of these? Cooler than liquid nitrogen nutrition bar. Is it cool? As cool as this treat is, your pet might be really, really warm blanket after eating it. Are we failing in some of these? Is that why they're not working completely? Um, we had a whole list of things we wanted to try to make. Craft, treats, wellness treat, craft, treat, swamp water taffy. So I have to wait. What is this? Industrial strength relaxing serum. So I have this on me in case I need to immediately clear some stress. We do have some people um, helping out with the cats and dogs. And where's this? I can put these items in this machine here. I don't know if I can put this in. I can. Oh wait, no, I can't. Where'd it go? Oh, it's on the. It's, it's in the hallway here. Oopsies, that's awkward. Wow, and there's so many puddles here. I think we're gonna have to come upstairs soon and stop making ourselves some of these things because these things are like kind of fun to make, but they're also like not. I guess we'll make one more. Um, stinkinator. Cinnamon chew some of these things don't seem like it'd be what your pet wants to eat I'm not here to judge, but that's just my observation <laughs> Like something that makes them really cold or something that makes them really warm It just doesn't make sense to me, but it's fine at least I you know, what's weird We don't get any vet uh, tech help from doing this from making these things patient. Oh rating increased to two stars All right, so now we have three bars here in this thing I don't know how much they sell for, but let's go ahead in here and let's socialize with some customers. Uh, greet patient warmly. Um, I don't know if I can actually talk to these patients. This place is disgusting and gross though. There's puddles all over the floor. And I don't know why. I guess 
these dogs and animals don't know how to contain themselves. They just pee everywhere. So we're gonna greet this patient warmly, um, and they're gonna immediately be assigned to us, which is fine. But I'm gonna work on cleaning up these puddles so that people think that this is at least a nice place to come visit and bring your pet. Um, gross. I wish that some of these pets were pet trained, or dog trained, or cat trained, or whatever. All right, is this exam done? So we can we can begin the oh, procedure already in progress. Why is Jay Huntington calling us while we're at work? Let's start examining Paco. Um, it looks like the ratings are doing okay. Everybody kind of has a three star. Oh my god, the puddles are infinite. I don't know what to do. There's pee everywhere. Let's stop. Let's stop cleaning up the puddles. And of course we missed our opportunity to get to an exam table. Of course. All right, let's examine Paco. We're tense. We're not having any fun here at our vet clinic. All right, here we go. We're zooming in. High stress levels. Good thing I have uh, something for that. What is this? This is a industrial strength um, calm patient. Give industrial strength relaxer. Some technology to make all that go away. So let's examine. Let's take temperature. Uh, examine eyeballs. Examine the mouth. And maybe examine the breathing. This should helpfully give us our answer. Clean noise, healthy skin, normal temperatures, standard smelly breath. Wow, the dog is completely fine. We're gonna give them a preventative shot just in case so that they don't accidentally get get sick. You know, we don't want them to get sick. Why is she crying? Is she happy? Bill, she's gonna be so happy after she sees this bill, I bet. Um, let's give a friendly introduction to this guy. Maybe uh, let's greet this patient warmly since there's multiple there's multiple people here. And they all probably need help. Hello. I would like to help you and your pet. Let's begin the exam for Whisper. Now, I do have to wonder, is this cat being treated? Because it doesn't look like this cat is being treated. I'm going to begin examining him after I finish with this pet right here. So let's take temperature. Um, the paws look kind of, they're glowing. So I don't know exactly what this is. So we're just going to start examining. We're going to check the chart, see if we, he's got hot feet. Dry eyes, high temperature, and what else? We don't know what exactly would be a good um, preventative medication yet. Or even if it's not preventative because he's already sick. So that's not what that means. Oh my god, this guy is literally watching me examine his pet through the window. <laughs> that's creepy. <laughs> like, hey, sorry, I can't come in there. So I'm just going to watch from the window. Let's calm down this patient because this patient is freaking out a little bit. Um, it appears that this cat is still here and still has no idea what needs to be done. I swear, my vet techs are the worst. So examine, let's do an eye exam, I guess, and also a breathing exam. If we can't, oh, sizzle paw, yes, sizzle paw. So uh, let's give an exfoliate. Um, oh my gosh, the pet clinic is wild. It is so crazy in here, and I don't know if, I don't, I don't know why it's so trashed in here all the time. I don't understand. So we are gonna go ahead and give this dog an exfoliate so that he gets healed. We're leaving with four stars. We've cured this dog's- Oh my god, don't leave! Don't leave! See, look, these people are causing me to lose business. <sighs> okay, dang it. So, we're gonna walk all the way to this outside, to these bushes, to let this guy know he needs to pay us money. Is this animal getting, um... Yes, this animal did get helped, finally. So let's try to pick up another animal here. Let's greet patient warmly. Luckily, we have Eva here cleaning up the puddles. The constant puddles here. What is this? Is this a glitch? We already helped this dog and he's fine. And exam. He's fine. We already build the owner and everything. We don't need to do anything. Let's greet this patient warmly. Let's see what we can do for her or him. Oh, we're greeting too many patients. We have too many patients. We gotta examine somebody. Just one of them. Gotta get this done fast. Oh, gross. He is snot coming out of his mouth. Examine. Take temperature. Examine. Oh, uh, okay. So let's listen to his breathing. And let's check his skin and fur. And then we're gonna calm him because he's starting to get a little bit riled up after a couple more of these things. Uncontrollable drooling. That's gross. Um, examine. Inspect. All the stuff. Oh, we became level six of the veterinarian skill, which is good. Good. Um, sluggish heartbeat. Examine eyes. Ear infection. Oh my gosh, this dog might die. <laughs> the sickest dog in the vet clinic. Look at his face. He's literally foaming at the mouth. Poor thing. Okay, so squirrel scratch fever. Treatment, um, administer a shot. 
And that should helpfully help this dog. Um, so now you can pay me. Bill owner. Um, and then we can begin examining the other dog that we picked up. We are also gonna dislodge new customers because it's been a long day. It's been a very long day. Oh my gosh, we're tired. Come on, we can do it. We just need to examine these few more pets before anything else. Oh my gosh, no. What's going on? So he's cold. Um, I don't know what the treatment is for this. Maybe it's a bit, let's do a random, a random treatment. A biscuit with Medicine X. Oh, that didn't help. Treatment, um, Kona Shane, uh, shots, no. Biscuit, that didn't work. Uh, Parasite? Okay, I, I don't know what it is. I can't keep on guessing. His temperature is obviously out of whack. We can examine his eyes, um, his mouth. And then listening to his breathing. He's starting to get a little stressed out. Overly moist skin. Oh no, that's gross. Alright, so we're gonna calm the patient down. We tried giving him a random medicine, which he did not like at all. Stop. Okay, examine. Check his tester's ears. I was gonna do check chart, but I don't feel like that really ever works. Are we figuring it out? Watery eyes. What just happened? What just happened? I'm supposed to give this dog medicine. What, what, are we gonna go take a sleep on the couch? Take a sleep? I can't do that. What's going on? Wow, can I not examine this guy? Do I really have to take a nap in the middle of the exam? Nap, take a nap, I guess. Why not? I was just in the middle of examining this pet, but now I can't do anything. <laughs> So that's awkward and random and weird. Is there a bathroom in here? I did not put a bathroom in this vet clinic. Um, hey guys, this is awkward, but I think it's time for me to leave. So let's go home. I'll close out the store once you guys are done here. Goodbye. Oh, we're greeted by our dog Bubblegum as soon as we get home, but we have to do some damage control on some of our, um, some of our needs here. We really have to use the restroom. Jay Huntington wants to come over. We have a boyfriend now, Jay. You can't just come over and hang out. We're sleeping on our floor, obviously. We have plans, okay? <sighs> Wake up. Wake up. No pets fearless. Uh, what's, what's wrong with bubblegum? And did Johnny's us not repair the toilet? I guess he started to. <laughs> we just gotta use the toilet. Um, we need to eat. There's leftovers all here. Let's eat these. What's wrong? Okay, what's wrong with Bubblegum? What is Bubblegum scared of? Oh my gosh, our dog needs a shower. Johnny's us, what are you doing? Are you just playing on the computer? I think it's time you do something around here. Let's give a bath to Dakota because Dakota is filthy and she is not having a good time. What have you been doing all day? You didn't have work all day and our dogs are running around. Look at this pile of mess over here. What is this? What is that? Please give Dakota, like he just stayed in his sweatpants all day. Is this what it means for him to commit? Okay, so now it's time to have fun. I think maybe we can wrap house with the animals or get to know. Maybe uh, more choices. Friendly, if we play, maybe be nice to, oh. Tell our dog to be nice to somebody. Lecture about barking, no barking. More choices, friendly. Um, Rough house is the only thing here. I don't really see play, I just see rough house. Okay, we don't need to eat everything in the house now. Calm down. Dakota is hungry. Well, Dakota can eat because there's literally a food bowl right here. Oh no. We've fallen asleep. Call pet to eat Dakota because she doesn't know how to eat herself. So, crazy day, guys. All right, so now we are going to play a game. Play a game. Let's play Sims Forever. Cause I know, play. oh my god, he's playing in trash. Johnny, now you gotta give Bubblegum, oh my gosh. Okay, um, okay, everybody stop. Ask to go potty, Bubblegum is playing in the dirt on the ground and she's about to pee herself. Let's buy a trash can in the meantime. Um, trash, 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 trash. The money trash can will be a good um, purchase because we actually have enough people in the household to where it'll make us some money. Okay, let's grab this. That's not gonna work. Do we get 40? Yes, we do get 40. Okay, throw this away, Johnny. What are you doing? There. 
Let's pick that up, put that over there. Uh, Dakota has just eaten, so she feels a little bit better now. We aren't really having much fun. It's just a crazy day at the vet clinic, guys. Guys, give bath to the wait. Uh, Johnny, give a bath to Bubblegum. There we go. And after a long day, we finally get to head to sleep. The energy isn't going up at all, though. I think soon we're gonna need to get a better bed because this one is not very good at all. Oh shoot, I forgot to close the vet clinic. Okay, um, close. Oh my gosh, we made $7,000. Growth opportunity, stress level, wait time. It's doing pretty good though, what's this? Skill up, veterinarian skill three. She did it, oh my gosh, level five. Very unsatisfied, oh no. Okay, so they both need to, wait, wait what is this? Promoting them and being nice to them helps them like their job more. Sorry, you guys are gonna have to work a little harder for that. Business funds, look how many business funds we have. Let's put some of these into the house. There we go, and that's enough money to build a really nice house for us and our dogs and everything like that. But I think that's a really good place to stop today, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and leave a comment down below. Let's put 7,000 in. The description down below, just in time for Christmas, you guys can get Megan Plays merch. Um, ask your parents or, you know, don't, but just don't steal their credit cards and don't, you know, we aren't even gonna go there. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>